As you can see here, my key uh, is getting stuck in my U-lock. When I turn it about halfway around, it doesn't want to go any further. So I want to make that uh, key turn much smoother. So eventually if I wiggle it, it'll work, but it's a pain in that butt. So to fix this problem, we're going to add some lube to the lock. Now we're not going to put it in the keyhole. Instead, we're going to put it on the other side where the bolt is. That's, so you can see here when I turn the key, that's the bolt it's coming in and out. That's where we're going to put lube, right in there. So I'm going to use TriFlow. Uh, you can find this at bike shops anywhere. Another type of, an alternative to TriFlow would be um, basic bicycle chain lube, or you could, even better would be uh, machine oil, which is a thick, heavy duty oil. What you don't want to use is something uh, flimsy like WD-40. So I'm going to put a few drops on right here. One, two, three. Now I'm going to turn the key inside. Find the right key. Okay. So now that the oil is in there, I'm going to turn it back and forth a few times. Still not completely smooth. You can feel it. I'm going to try putting more, a little more oil in. Put maybe three or four drops. And now I'm going to do the same thing back and forth about a dozen times or so. And I can already feel it's starting to get better. And one tip is if you have um, a keychain with a bunch of keys on it and doohickeys weighing it down, that can actually add to the problem. So just by having that added weight um, over time, when you're turning the key, that weight, that gravity is causing the key to not be in there perfectly straight. So if you can lighten your keychain or take the key off the keychain, something that'll help over time. That'll that'll prevent this problem from reoccurring. Um, again, ideal is machine oil. I don't have machine oil, so I used TriFlow. And this should, even if you store the bike outdoors, should help the bike, uh, the bike lock, not get jammed for several months. Um, you probably have to do this again once a year or so, maybe more frequently if you're in a wet environment. Uh, and that's basically it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.